Now, against the backdrop of uh, what has been said, and I have reference to, uh, to what you referred to earlier, but Herman Cohen, former Assistant Secretary of State, against the background of what he said during the TRC hearings in the U.S., would you opine that the involvement of Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire in the Liberian crisis somehow received the tacit approbation of the U.S.? Let me say, you know, the late Ahmed Sekouture had said to us, A.B. Torba had been killed together with Vanny Sherman after the execution of uh, Thomas Wesson, I had taken over the foreign ministry after Barkas Matthews. And Samuel Doe sent Podia and myself to Guinea to go and explain to Secretary that the late Wesson had killed A.B. Talbot. Our delegation got to Guinea and they took us to the Palace de Perp. Of course, I'm a secretary, widely read, you understood so much. The first thing he brought up, he said, I noticed that your students are agitated. And the late podium said, the students are troublemakers. I'm a secretary, said, no. When you took power, the students were rejoicing. If today they have turned against you, it's, positive. it's because you have changed. Students don't change. Not until they leave college. You have to examine yourself. Bodia then said, Head of State Doe wants me to tell you that the list was sent, the Vice Head of State, executed A.B. Talbot. Uh, Secretary said to him, Secretary said, Hufe is not a man who forgives easily. He said when A.B. Tauber was arrested from the French embassy and put in prison, Hufe Boini sent to me to ask me to intercede with Doe to free A.B. Tauber. Secretary said, I sent my Prime Minister, Lassana Biogogi, to Doe. Doe said to me, there was no problem. Ebito was all right. He will, go, he will go to try. A couple of months later, the news got to French intelligence that Ebito had been executed. French intelligence then informed President Hufe Boigny. Hufe, Hufe Boigny again sent to President Touré. He said, I've learned that A.B. Talbot has been killed. Secretary said, I send Biavogi again to head of state Doe. Head of state Doe said it was not true. Now you have come to me to tell me to tell President Hufe Boini that A.B. Talbot was killed by the late Wesen. And Secretary said, Wesen is dead, he cannot defend himself. But I can tell you one thing. We all have to die and answer to our makers. But Hufe Boini, knowing him as I do, he will not forgive you. And so, yes, when Hugh Fay realized that there was a group willing to overthrow Samuel Doe, and it was stated, it was stated at the hate trial by one of the leading members of the MPFL that they were giving arms while waiting for Libyan arms, they were giving arms by the Ivorian Defense Ministry. Of course, Hufe Boigny knew. And because of Hufe Boigny's connection in Paris, it is possible that he convinced the French. The French were heavily involved. He convinced the French that Taylor should be helped. We have information from our sources that the son of the president of France, of, 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 of President Mitterrand, was in con con contact with the Taylor people. So obviously, Burkina Faso. Blaise Campori will only be courageous to send 700 to 1,000 soldiers into Liberia if he had the tacit endorsement of the French to Hufe Boigny. Yes, now it's just possible 
that the French, knowing that they were going to support Mr. Taylor, knowing the connection of Hugh Feboini to Mr. Taylor and his group, and also Blaise Campari, it is just possible, it is just possible that they could have sent the signal to the Americans that uh, we can handle this. We can handle this. And that was the problem the Nigerians had. Because the Nigerians had the potential, they had the capacity to destroy the NPFL. They were stopped at every step of the way. And they kept saying to themselves, what is happening about Liberia? Why do we find it so difficult to get a consensus, a consensus to move in with full force and stop this war? Arms were coming through the Ivory Coast. So if you like, at a particular stage, because of the involvement of Fifi Boini, because of other international actors, this whole internal rebellion became a vast international conspiracy to help the Taylor people to stop searching other forces who were perceived to be anti-whatever. So yes, I think and I, I must appreciate what Mr. Cohen said to you people in America. He knows, he has seen the records, but we can only conjecture that there was a desire by certain international actors to ensure that Mr. Taylor took power in Liberia, irrespective of the fact that he was coming from Libya, which was a pariah state, with all his values antithetical to the values of certain international partners or actors. So yes, I believe that sincerely. And so obviously at the end, Mr. Taylor was given the presidency. But like all historical mirages, Mr. Taylor ended the way he did. He ended the way he did. Because this society is complex. It's complex. To rule a society, you have to understand the actors, the various forces. Why was it possible after a few years? Learn, model, all these people popping up. You cannot take power through guns and then intend to suppress people when they have already taken guns before. This crisis here, yeah. this crisis in Liberia was the crisis of leadership. 1997, the Americans, the French, the entire international community. To the instrumentality of Yufa Boni and his people, even the Nigerians had conceded to Taylor that you are president of Liberia. You are president of Liberia. We deal with you. So why all this aggression? Why all these movements into other countries? What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? So that was the tragedy. The tragedy was, as Mandela said recently, it's that want of leadership. You have been given power. Develop your country. Your opponents are in exile. And you are making, you are making the joke to your supporters. When I leave from here, some of them will come walking with sticks. They will be so old. Vision 2021. The man didn't have vision for 20, uh, 2001, he's talking about 2024. But this was the reality. So it was, a, it was a, a, a serious tragedy of leadership. And that's where we got to where we were. With more wars. With more wars. So yes, Mr. Stewart. The Ivorian Shiver Boni is there. But of course, we paid close attention to the tribe because we ourselves did not know certain things until we started following the trial. And now the puzzle, the puzzle, it's all coming into place. It's all coming into place. Our arrest, the killing of our militants, the killing of Liberians, all these talks in Washington. Socialism, communist, socialism, communist. Only to make way for a tailor. But like they say, history poses no problem for which there is no solution. <laughs>